Our next story is entitled, I Still Don't Know What to Think, written by Jason Baird and read by Allison Stein. First, let me tell you about my grandfather. I literally just met him a few days ago. He's my dad's wife's dad, and as she's the new stepmom, this is the first time we're visiting her family. My new grandfather isn't too old, I think. Somewhere around 50 or so, maybe? He's sort of grumpy, but he's all right. He's got a pretty kick-ass beard. He's got something wrong with him. Not entirely sure what, but due to poor circulation, he can barely walk. His feet are blue, and he has to wear slippers all the time. He can barely walk 10 or 15 steps. He's got sores and lesions all over his legs and feet, plus one huge open sore on the back of his hand. He lives downstairs in the basement because, well, I don't know, really. I think he might be embarrassed having to sit around all day and not move while we all pass him by. The doctors refuse to help him until he stops smoking, and he doesn't think he can stop after smoking for his entire life. The following occurred around 3.30 or 4 a.m. this morning. I was sitting here on Reddit as I'm usually doing around that time, when out of the dead silence I begin to hear a faint buzzing noise. At first I ignore it, probably just my imagination. But it gets louder, so I went to investigate. I opened my door and crept toward the source of the noise. Down the hall, through the living room, peering around the corner, I see that the basement door is open, the light is on, and my grandfather is standing at the top of the stairs. He had his head thrown back, mouth open wide, and the buzzing noise was coming from inside his throat. It was intense. It sounded like a really, really large bee. I asked what was wrong, thoroughly creeped out at this point, but he didn't seem to hear me. I got a bit closer, trying to get his attention when the buzzing abruptly stopped. He lowered his head and looked directly into my eyes. Then he grinned the largest grin I'd ever seen in my entire life. It seemed to extend past the boundaries of his face by a good three inches. He twitched once and took an enormous breath. When he spoke, it wasn't in his normal voice, but the buzzing sound just formed into words. Still staring me dead in the eyes, he growled. We were never meant for this place, and neither were you. Then he threw himself backward down the stairs. I lunged forward to try and grab him by the shirt, but I missed. And even if I had caught him, he probably would have just taken me with him. He is large. I am not. The fall broke his neck. And he died. <laughs> 